I need to apologize for saying Botanica instead of Botania for, well, 11 episodes now? Yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry about that, and I can imagine that that has not won me any points with the Botania, Botania, Botania mod maker creator people. So I'm going to apologize. Now I apologize in Civ, but I think I need to apologize in this series too, just because like this is the series where I actually said it. Yeah. Okay, so let's look in our botanica botan yeah. Let's just change this right now. I'm going to do my best to call it Botania from now on. Botania. Okay. Yeah, Botania. <laughs> so which flowers do we not have 16 of? Because on my list, we need 16 of each flower. And the fewest we have are the light... The, we have the least number of white... Light, not white, not white blues, light blues. So let us go ahead and try to get some more light blue flowers. And when I logged on, I noticed the fact that there are tons of them right here. I don't know, a couple blocks from our house. So why not spend the time try and grab these resources up. Okay, I don't think we need, you know, we may as well just grab them so we don't have to come outside later, because the next time we'll probably need these, it'll probably be a blood moon. And I bet I've discussed my strategies for surviving blood moons. It is to not leave my house. So, I mean, yeah, I think that's a pretty good plan for blood moons, because they are awful. I died. I hate blood moons. We will never, ever leave. Thank you, chicken. We will never leave the house again when there is a blood moon up. I swear on the life of this chicken. You know, let's just bury this chicken in a hole to ensure the fact that this chicken is never ever going to die so we can kill that chicken if I ever go out when there's a blood moon again. Okay, so I guess that's kind of like chicken insurance. Like. Instead of me getting in trouble, I'm going to take it and use someone else's stuff to fix my problems. But, no big deal. Okay, so let's get started in Botania. So the first thing we are supposed to do is craft a Petal Apothecary. So, Petal Apothecary. How do we craft this? We need cobblestone and a mystical white petal. How do we, or any petal, how do we get them? We just craft flowers. Okay, which one just do we have? We have the most blue ones by far. So let's go ahead and craft some blue flowers, and we need to go downstairs and grab some cobblestone. Okay. There we go, got some cobble, and let's see how we craft this. So we need slabs and cobblestone. Awesome. So let's make like 18 slabs maybe? That sounds good. And then if we click the question mark, it actually... Did it... Built. No, it didn't. It just shadowed it in. I'm used to it not being such a dark shadow, but it will actually shadow in the recipe for us, so we don't even have to like learn how to craft these things. But I'm gonna try. Okay, petal apothecary. Let's stick this down right here. Oh, this looks cool. I like this fact. This sh fax, I think. S fax. Fax. It's fax texture pack. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I like this fax texture pack. Sh I give up. I'm not. Uh, Pronunciation is not my forte. Not even going to try anymore. Okay. Awesome. Let's put this petal back in there. Second thing. It says create a wheat farm for seeds, but I don't want to do that, and that'll be boring. I may do that off camera, but I just don't want to do that now. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go on to the fourth one, which is craft Alexica Botania. Botania. But us being us, we found two already. So... Lexica Botania, 149th edition. Your guides to all botanical needs. From best-selling author Lizbeth Vaskirika. Oh, I guess that's the creator of the mod. That's really cool if they did that. Okay. So that's... Oh, that's a cool noise. Oh, that's really, really cool. Lexica Botania. Also, like on the wiki, it said it's also known as a lexicon, so that's what I'll refer to it as. But this is cool. Okay, let's go to basics and mechanics, an introductory clip. For those readers who are not quite sure, a short video guide covering is also available. Blah, blah, blah. I've probably watched that already. I don't want... Click to read? I don't understand it. I don't want to have to watch... Oh, I, a bookmark. 
I don't understand how you're supposed to use this. How do I go back? I'm just gonna have to close the book. Oh, you just right click, okay. Lexica Botania. It's a collection of knowledge. All information is stored here. It can be shift right clicked with the Lexica to open that entry. Um, any entries are typed in italics that are, are typed in italics are basic entries. They're prioritized. Crafting the lexica is, lexicon is just a book and a sapling. Shift, I don't know you can, that's cool. Okay. Uh, it can be customized. Ooh. That's really cool, but I don't have enough iron to do that right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and click the back button. Mystical flowers, uh, we've been collecting these. Doesn't really seem like anything is new here. The flowers were plucked, which we already did. These petals can cr also crush into floral powder, which functions much like any mundane piece of dye. Oh, that's cool. So like the plucking petals, but now a mortar and pestle. Should we make one? Uh, if we need one later, we will. By right clicking the powder, it will change any wool or carpet. Oh, that's really cool. I don't think you can do that with bone. By mixing it with bone meal, you can create fertilizer. It'll gross. Oh, so it's basically like bone meal, like how I need to kill this slime. It's driving me insane. Okay, uh, where are you? Die. That was pathetic. Okay. Let's go back inside in case we get mauled by monsters. So floral fertilizer is just the petal powder and bone meal. Okay, next page. And does it, using typical, oh, so we can also use like dandelion yellow. Oh, so cool. We don't even have to waste our stuff. Petal apothecary. In order for a botanist to create plant life that can do its bidding. Oh, we're getting into the cool stuff. One would need special means of infusing plants with mystical energy. Luckily, the apo petal apothecary does just that. The block when placed in the world given some water. So let's go ahead and make an infinite water source. That would be very useful. Do I have bucket? I swear. I guess they got blown up in like the great creeper explosion of episode. Is it 10? Is it episode 10? I think it's episode 10. Yeah, it's episode 10. The Great Creeper Explosion. I was looking at my uh, calendar I have on the wall for when I release videos. But we will call it the Great Creeper Explosion. Oh, no, we do have the buckets, but they're just filled with lava. But it will be, from now on, known as the Great Creeper Explosion of episode 10. Okay, there we go. Got some buckets. Bukates. Bukets. Bukat. This doesn't look like bukats, though. It looks like bukets. Let's take our bouquets and fill them up with agua. Perfect. And let's go back inside, and we will make an infinite water source. I don't want to put water. Can I ink? Oh, I can't eat the pink slime balls. Let's just put them in our backpack. And let's do the best possible thing for making an infinite water source, and let's dig out our, our floor, and let's put it where this dirt is. Oh, that's not gonna... No, actually it should. If we put one here and one here, yeah, it makes infinite water. So what we do is we put the water in there. I actually want to get some slabs from downstairs so I can see inside the apothecary. The petal apothecary. I think that'll be really cool. Like, if we're able to look inside and watch what's happening. Let's get these. Do I have wooden ones? I think those might look nicer. No, I don't think I do. Because I remember when I was building the roof, I ended up having, like, the exact perfect number of slabs. I probably... Maybe I had slabs in there, but I don't remember, and I'm too lazy to check now. Okay, let's build our little viewing post. This looks awful, but it's okay. Oh, it's cool. We can see inside now. So that looks really bad. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to take that. Down. See, I'm not... It doesn't need to look amazing, but at the same time, it needs to look somewhat okay. And that, in my opinion, does not look somewhat okay. Okay, so we'll just go like this. Lexicabatent. There's a little zombie somewhere. Oh well. This block, the petal apothecary, once placed in the world and given some water, will accept any mystical pet petals thrown into it, releasing their energies. 
Once one has set the correct petals in, throwing some seeds in will find- Oh, so this is how you make flowers! Ooh, that's cool. Tossing in a full bucket will also- Oh, so if we want the water back. Quite a few plants can be made using this method. Read functional flora and the generation flora sections of this lexicon. Cool. If we place lava, it'll serve as a brazier and incinerator. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of like an overgrown visual. Ooh, let's do that. So there was an entry on the bottom part that said if we toss vines in the apothecary. Do I not have any? I may have used them all. Do I have... Oh, I don't... I'm gonna have to go outside, guys. But it's not a blood moon, so I don't have to kill... <clears throat> what should his name be? Donald? Should we call him Donald the Duck? I think that's a good name for a mouse. For a duck, not a mouse. Mickey the Mouse is the mouse, not Donald the Mouse. Or Mickey the Duck. Okay, little zombie. That scared me so much. Okay, there we go. I think we got something. Yeah, we got a bone somehow. Uh, I don't... Ah! Okay. And let's take these vines. And throw them in the altar. Oh, it doesn't look as cool. Let's just mine that back up and put the petal apothecary down. So I guess when you throw in the vines that aren't... It doesn't take this fact texture anymore. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I don't like that. So we crafted our petal apothecary already. I, do, I don't like that. Let's go. Pure daisy. The pure daisy is not only the most base. Oh, this is, this is a good starting point for us. Most basic. That's a good keyword there. But also the most important flower a botanist can have. This flower will purify any adjacent wood and stone blocks, as seen on their next page, into their purified counterparts, living wood and living rock, which can be used for crafting. Next page. Just give it a minute or so, and living wood. White is bright and pure. So I guess we put in four white petals. Let's come in here and we'll get two white flowers and we'll make our four white petals. And then let's fill our bucket with water, or a bucket with water, and then, oh, I'm putting everything in the wrong spot. And now let's get some seeds. And let's come over to the petal apothecary. Put in the bucket of water, the four petals. Okay, that's really cool. They float around four and the white seeds. Pure daisy! I'm really happy. Okay. So what we just need to do now is just surround it with stone and oak wood, or I guess vanilla wood, and it'll make it into the, the, what's it called? Living wood, living rock. There we go. So that should be in the building blocks chest. So let's go ahead and get tons of oak and stone. We're going to go upstairs and sleep, and then we're going to have to venture outside. And eventually, guys, my plan is to craft the flowers that attack mobs, and then it will be safe to go outside at night and on blood moons because our flowers will be our, like, ultimate defense mechanism. And if the zombies... We'll put a flower inside our house, too, so if the zombies ever smash the door... See, I have this all figured out. Like, I spend so much... No, I don't. But so I spend so much time just thinking about this. Okay, and let's put... We'll do... Even, even. And it said if I give this a minute, it will turn into the special wood. Living wood and living rock. Okay. That's all it says about that. So let's go back and let's look at... Well, I guess we should just wait for this to finish because I want to put more down. Wow, we crafted our first Batania flower, guys. I'm really impressed. I thought it would take longer than that. Okay, come on, Batania daisy flower. Let's do this. I really want to look at... It said it'd take, take about a minute. So I guess what we should do is put down more. So let's go ahead and make some more of those flowers. So we have 25 white flowers. We'll make two more flowers. We should have enough to do that. So we'll make eight shards. We will take buckets. We'll fill them with water. And now let's go ahead and I need to eat something. I'll do that after I make these flowers. Let's fill these buckets with water. I bet in the future. So, one thing I've neglected to mention is how we're going to like transfer this pack to the later eras. And I'm not just going to make it like we have all of the mods towards the end. I'm going to pick and choose which mods I really, really like and which one. 
oh, it's like a transformation. But I'm going to pick and choose which mods I think we should keep. So I'm going to keep mods that I love. So if Batania is a mod that I can just not live without, we are going to keep it because I don't see the point in not keeping it. Like, it's just not smart. Like, why would I not keep a mod that I love? So that's what, how I'll be dealing with transferring packs. So Batania already I love. It's amazing. So we'll probably be keeping this mod, but then also the fossils and archaeology mod. I may not just I may keep not keep some mods just for realism. Like there are no dinosaurs in the real world. So I may get rid of that mod by early information era, so we don't have to go through the sadness of losing it. Okay. In the meantime, let's go ahead and craft another iron axe. It's kind of a pain having the iron down here because it's so useful. But for now, it's it's what we got. So we're just going to work with it. And yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and make an iron axe. We will come out of our hole. Well, it's not really a hole, it's a basement. And let's go and start chopping down some trees. And then we will chop down, we'll get a stack of wood. And then we will start on our next step in Batania. I forgot I like hollowed out the inside of this tree already. Oh well, we'll just keep working at it. Okay, but yeah, so, and also at the same time, I don't want to have too many mods on the game where it just kind of stops being like, oh, I also needed to make a to-do list. I completely forgot about that. I said I was going to do that like episode three or two or something. We'll go ahead and do that too. I think I'm going to make one inside, but I usually, no, let's make them outside. That'll be nice. Okay, but yeah, we definitely need to make a to-do Oh, look, I, th I thought there was, like, a bird or something, but it was just our uh, rock was turning it. Oh, I made it floating. I hate when that happens. Whatever. We'll just mine it like this. But I forgot what I was saying. Oh, well. But, yeah, it looked like a bird was floating off the living rock and all that stuff. It kind of looks like the tree is still alive. I mean, <laughs> what I could end up doing is coming back to this and making it where the tree just is has a metal trunk or something. That would look really cool. Okay. Got all that wood. Let's just get this last bits of wood. Wood bits. I don't know. I give up. And then we will go back home and we will... Wow, this root goes deep. But now I have to dig my way out of here. But I have a diamond shovel, so it's all good. Okay. So we'll harvest this living rock, and then we will continue. And living wood. It, I like the color of it. It looks really nice. Oh, I'm sorry, Daisy. But yeah, we'll harvest all this stuff up. And let's get the living rock. I don't know what we're supposed to use this for, but we should probably reset it so it keeps on making it while we keep working. Uh, okay. Let's put the stone down. Oh, I harvested that one. I didn't mean to. And I think it goes like that, right? Maybe. I don't know. I give up. We will put down the pure daisy. And then we put down the oak wood. No, that was supposed to be oak wood. Oh, whatever. No, that may have been right. I don't know. Okay, let's continue with Botanica. Botania.